welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. We are going to have an amazing show here tonight. Um, unfortunately, Blog Talk is down again. So we're just going to be doing um, question, um, questions and answers from YouTube, uh, the chat, YouTube chat. So if you do have a question, please join us on YouTube and post your question. I'll be happy to answer it. Hopefully by Monday, Blog Talk will be back up again and we'll be able to take callers then. Uh, to start the show off, I just want to say, listen, uh, seriously, everybody, please, please um, listen. Last Monday, Monday, I did a show and I uh, went on um, live on Facebook, one of my Facebook pages, and it's my Facebook page. And people were commenting there. And of course, somebody who was a scammer slid in and started telling one of the people commenting, oh, like me on my page, I can tell you what's going on. And of course she has, this person had the title of psychic medium. And within moments of that particular person liking the page they found out this person was a scammer i don't even know the name i just blocked them please don't get scammed please don't fall for it. anybody who has to troll somebody else's page that should tell you everything that's like somebody that's like burger king walking into mcdonald's and saying hey buy our burgers like it <laughs> I don't know, that was a horrible analogy. I'm just saying, don't get scammed. If they're commenting where you're commenting on any of my social media, just report them, ignore them, but do not get scammed. What happens is they tell you they have information for you and then they slowly bring you in and they tell you, oh, somebody, you know, you have dark energy, I can really... <laughs> No, they can't. No, no, they're not going to. They're just starting to slowly get money out of you and pull more and more. I've had people come to my office and tell me that in a year they have paid 50000 to some psychic to help them get back to their partner. And another person told me they paid 80000 to some psychic to help them get back to their partner. Neither person is back with their partner and they were coming to me to see what I could do. And I'm like, I can tell you, move on. You're not, you're not getting your money back and you're not getting your partner back. Just, so please, the, the, the moral of the story here is do not get scammed. Do not get sucked in by these these people who are scamming so many people, please don't do it. Please be very, um, don't be, this is the best way I can say it. When you're making a choice, don't make a choice out of desperation. Take your emotions out and look at, is this a very logical, good choice? And then make it. Okay, that's all I'm going to say about um, getting scammed today and uh, trying to help you not get scammed. And it's not only me, it's any good, reputable, psychic, medium, uh, anybody. I hear a lot of other people who are on social media just getting on, doing their thing, um, saying the same thing because there are so many um, fakes and trolls out there doing this sort of thing. Okay. I'm going to go straight into um, the names. Uh, so this could be your name, your loved one's name, or somebody you know's name. And we are go if I say a name, even if somebody says, oh, that's my uncle, that's my cousin, that's my brother, and you know somebody, it could be for both of you. Please don't think because somebody else claimed the name, it's not also your name or for you. So first, we're going to start with names. And the first name I'm hearing is John 
Luigi, Lawrence, Mikhail, Mikhail, Mikhail. I keep checking to make sure that's it. That's the name. It is. It's Mikhail. The next name is. Okay, this guy, sometimes when I get names, it can be the name of a place or a pet or whatever. Buena Vista is the next name or word, whatever we want to call it. Um, the next one is uh, Lorencia. Lorencia. If I repeat it, I'm just confirming it, I pronounced it correctly. Uh, Giuseppe Goldie. I knew a Goldie back in the day. <laughs> I love that girl. Oh my gosh. I love that girl. I knew a Goldie back in the day. She was, I knew a Goldie back in the, okay. So Goldie, um, Mariana. If it takes me a moment, I'm trying to get the correct as close to the correct pronunciation as I can. Uh, papina, pina, 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 or papina. I, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing some of these names correctly. I, I really am doing my best. Chelsea, oh, thank you, amazing <laughs> Chelsea, <laughs> Morgan. Ziata, Zia, Z, anything that sounds like that is it. Um, Robert, Jim, Loca, La, Lo, La Costa, Lo Costa or La Costa, whichever one that is. Olivia. Wow. Uh, Nianjata. Nianjata. Is, uh, Jesus. Okay, I just have to stop names because I don't want to say any names. Any, because they're, they're really, it's really, yeah, we're going to stop names there. We're going to go songs. I love the songs. I love the music. Okay, uh, first and foremost, no, I cannot sing, but I'm going to do it anyway. If it hurts your ears, don't worry, you're not the only one. It hurts a lot of people's ears. Sometimes it even hurts my own ears. But spirit wants me to do it. I am going to do it. I'm going to come through with what spirit wants for you. Okay. Uh, the songs can be a song your loved one loved or liked, uh, you loved or like, you listened to together, or and most importantly, the song can be an answer to a question that you have, something you've been wondering what to do, how to do it, where to go, what to do. And the first thing I'm hearing is that song, when I die, I'm gonna, a uh, spirit in the sky, something, something, when I die. I got a friend in Jesus. Okay, that's a song. I know I missed a lot of words in there, but <laughs> I did the best I could. <laughs> that's all you can ask of anyone. Okay, the next song is, uh, oh, let it be, let it be, words of wisdom, um, something, let it be. And I'm sorry, I did miss a group of words in there also, but let it be. If you know, you know. If it's your song, please own the song. Duchess is a name that's coming through. And remember, these can be pets. They can be loved ones. They can be nicknames. Um, but I'm going to go back to songs. Um, the next song is um, Take It to the Limit one more time. The next song is there's something that's saying, make me an offer. Now, I'm not sure if this is a song 
or if this is the answer to a question or what you're supposed to say to somebody, make me an offer. Make me an offer. And make it good. That's what I'm hearing for that message. Oh, let's do that. Let's just do messages from loved ones. What would they tell you to say? And it can be for anybody if it fits, if it's, but I'm still doing songs. I'm still doing songs. We are still doing songs. The next um, song and or message is, uh, um, I, I can hear the words. I, I vaguely know the song. I'm waiting for the main verse. I, I, I might not get it. Um, I'm sorry if it comes in stronger. It's like so it's coming from somebody who's not close. Um, can you do better? They're saying, can you do better? No, apparently I can't. I would already be singing it if I could. Um, it's because a couple, uh, loved ones are trying to push songs through at the same time. So this is a song, but then every time I start it, it another song interferes with it. Oh, come on, come on, give it to me. So, okay. One of the songs is lady in red, and that's the song that's interfering with the first song. And the, the first song, though, is, is a really, it's a really good song. Da -na 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 -na. Wait, come on. Okay, I'm sorry. I just can't get that song, but we're going to, don't worry. Don't worry. I'm going to do two more songs and or um, messages, and then I'm going to go to questions. And in between... I will be getting songs and so on and so forth. So it's not over when it's when I'm done doing this part, we'll still get more. The next song is or the next message. Here we go. Something about let it rain. Well, it's been raining a lot where I am. And then the next song is sitting on the dock of the bay. I love that. A man, that's a song. Isn't that just a song? That is such a song. Watch. I like the original artist of that song. Also, I know that song's been redone, but I love the the raspiness of the, the not raspy, but the the original artist. I love their voice in that song. I love it. And one more. I'm just going to throw one more in for good measure. Uh, drift away. Okay, that's it. That's it for songs. Okay, now I'm going to go to questions. As I'm, um, as I'm answering questions, I'm going to ask that when I start answer, ask, answering your question or put your question on the screen, please, um, in the, uh, please have um, interaction with me uh, so that we, I can get confirmations while we're doing it. So the first one is Anton. Anton, please to meet you, please to meet you also, Anton. I'm contemplating a job in Dover, MA. I have a meet with the owner next week. Any thoughts about this position for me? Yeah, be, the first thing I hear is professionalism, professionalism, professionalism. Um, Anton, I'm scrolling back down so I can see your replies. Um, where are you originally from? Where are you from right now? And that's the first thing I'm going to ask. The second thing I'm going to ask uh, or say, 
they're just saying professionalism, bring your most professional game. It's going to be a completely different environment for you. You're going to have a, um, a different type of environment once you're there. I feel like there's a complete, like, uh, England, England living in Connecticut. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell you, it's going to be a good switch, a good trade or switch is the word they're using. Please let me know um, if that makes sense. I feel like the company is really going to like you, but you can't, when you are there, be completely professional, even if, if they're, if you feel like it's casual, it's not be professional, no matter what from from arrival to end, like even if you're going overnight, like just prep for this. That's Anton, that's what I'm hearing. I hope that makes sense. I know you want to know, are you going to get an offer from this company? I feel like you are. I feel like you're going to get an offer. Make sure it's enough for everything you're going to be doing. And I hope that makes sense to you also, Anton. Make sure it's enough for everything you're going to be doing. Like, meaning if you, you're relocating, meaning the cost of living, all of it. Make sure it's enough for all of that, okay? Excellent. I am going to take the questions in the order that they have been received. So please... Um, if you are on Facebook watching, please keep your questions there. Keep it nice on Facebook, folks. Um, I was really hesitant to post anything on uh, Facebook this evening just because just a lot of tr just a lot of um, not not the best uh, stuff on Facebook the, the past couple shows that I posted on Facebook. So um, uh, let me rise. Hey, how are you, uh, Michelle? Uh, for work, uh, traveling for work, living in hotels right now. Oh, Michelle, that's my dream life. I love traveling. I love, um, I almost said escaping. It's so true. I do. I love like escaping to other places. I hope you're going to nice places, Michelle. Um, a2715, um, I'm just going to call you A from now on. Hey, how are you? Stephanie, let's take your, I think you have a, a question. I'm going to post it up here. Hey, Tony, I hope you are well. You too, Stephanie. Thank you so much. I recently met someone. I recently met someone that may evolve. Would you be able to tell me anything about this? Can, uh, Stephanie, I'm going to go to the bottom. Stephanie, please tell me uh, just the first name of this person, if you don't mind, and um, their age, the person and their, if you know their age or their approximate age, and I'll tell you why in a second. Um, just only the first name, though. I don't want anything other than that, and it's because I'm going to... Um, I'll tell you as soon as I get that. 43, first name, Justin. Okay, Justin, 43, and Stephanie, tell me a little bit about them. It's good. So far, so good. Um, I'm going to ask, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. Tell me three things that are going to be good about this relationship and three things that are not going to be good. We're going to do the three things that are going to be really good about this relationship first, and communication is going to be really good. Um, Intimacy is going to be on point. <laughs> that doesn't mean rush it. <laughs> Take your time. Do it right, baby. <laughs> Why did that song just come out of my mouth? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, that does not mean rush it by no means. Um, and the third thing that's going to be good is, um, what's the third thing that's going to be good about this? relationship or this these Justin and Stephanie is a uh, good co cooking so if one of you can cook or you two cook together or the food maybe it's just the food that's good okay
the three things that uh, you are going to have to kind of, um, let's say, work on or watch out for. Um, one of you may not be as honest as the other. Okay, that's the first thing I heard was lies. So um, that's a deal breaker for me. On uh, even with friends, that's a freaking deal breaker with me because because that when somebody lies to you, then you never know if what they're saying about anything is true. And I just I don't have time for that. Like at this point in our life, we're too we're not we're not on a playground anymore playing. This is real grown up stuff. And if you can't come to the table, honestly, don't don't come don't come to the table. I don't care how good the intimacy is. Um, if you a liar, mm, okay, lies first of all. Okay, what's the second thing they have to worry about? Uh, or the second thing that they could, that that uh, Stephanie uh, needs to work, to look look for that may not be so great in this relationship is um, trepidation. And I think that's on your part. I get a yes on that. Trepidation, like, you know, being really, well, we know what trepidation is. So trepidation on your part, but... If somebody's lying and it's not you, Stephanie, then yeah, have some trepidation. Um, and I think I just I just think someone might have, if not now, in the future, someone might have a meddling uh, family member that might get in the way. Now I'm going to tell you, um, I'm going to tell you this, that is, you might think uh, family is not a big deal in, in relationships. In some families it is. Um, it really is. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so be, if, if now I'm going to, I'm just going to jump back to the lie part. If it's something to just, just a, no, I can't justify lying. I just can't. I'm sorry. If you can, it's okay. If you can live with that, it's okay for you. For me, I just can't. I can't even say, well, if it's a lie about, no, I can't. I'm sorry. I can't. Um, you guys comment. How do you feel about if somebody tells a lie, even just one lie? Is it a, is it a deal breaker? Because I just think if somebody lies once, they're going to do it again. Um, I just feel that way. I do. But that's me personally. Don't go on mine. Now I am going to tell you, Stephanie, the chances of this working out are good. They're not saying great. Is it going to? I would say go slow. I was going to say, is this going to work out? And I got the answer. I, I feel like you have a six month, a good six month run with this. I do feel like, again, I'm hearing lies. I do feel like you're going to find out that some of the things that you might be, you might find out some of the things aren't as accurate as you thought they might be. It's up to you what you do with that. I feel like you're going to walk. And then I hear the song, one of these days, these boots are going to walk all over you. Ready, boots? Yeah, they are. Um, now this, I I will say this, okay? Sometimes people try to hide something. It could be a habit or an addiction. Maybe that's it. I don't know. You're going to have to do the, the deep dive on it, okay? I'm going to go to the next question. Again, if you, okay, so something I didn't say at the beginning of the show um, this show airs live on WSCS and all of their channels and um, streaming and uh, everything WSCS and all of the channels they're associated with. It also airs on Rude Rangers um, TV and all of their streaming channels, their radio stations and everything Rude Rangers. Um, 
it's on almost every podcast and uh la 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 i can't I, my mind is blank and um <clears throat> it, i go live every monday at noon and every wednesday at 7 p.m both of those times central i always say i'm gonna do a pop-up show just come on and say hey i i don't always have time because i'll have clients but I'll, if you're subscribed on whatever you're watching you'll know when i'm gonna do a pop-up show um, I've been starting conversations in my TikToks. So if you are following me on TikToks, uh, I, I started this thing today. I do healings and clearings there, but today I started this thing called Let's Talk About It. It's, it's pretty good. It's, it's, it's very good. So go over there and let's talk about it. Okay. Next, I have... Lynn. Is it Lynn? Yes, Lynn. Okay. Um, hi, Tony. You answered a question for me on Monday from my husband, Mark. The first thing you said was the name Edgar. Wondering if that is a guy I will meet. Thank you very much, Lynn. Hey, Lynn. Um, is Edgar someone she's going to meet? Nope. Is Edgar somebody Okay, I um, I'm gonna say this. I think Edgar is a I hear family member, and I asked two different ways, and I'm gonna tell you I don't know if it's your family member or somebody in Mark's lineage that was a family member um, or friend to him. I do feel like the person you're going to meet uh, you'll know i'm just hearing you'll know you're just gonna know okay that's that's what i'm hearing i hope that's helpful but um is edgar the name of the person no i you know no matter how i ask it i'm getting a solid no on that okay sweetie i hope that was helpful okay um I'm gonna go to the next question. Sorry about that, folks. Um, hi, Tony. I turned down the initial insurance negotiation offer for the hurricane to my property last year. Now I regret it and I wanted to know if I can get the insurance company to give me the offer again. You know what I'm gonna to say to you, um, 2715? I feel like a better offer is going to come in just because you turned it down. It doesn't mean that they are not responsible and they don't have to pay you. If you can, this is what I'm hearing and I am channeling. If you can prove cause and expense, they will have to take care of it. I understand the process may be long and daunting, but if you can, um, stick to it it'll be worth it on your end okay it's a game that some insurance companies pay that they know if they wait you out you will become desperate and take whatever they offer don't 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 okay that's the answer i'm getting for for you and if need be, get new, um, if you can't get new estimates, um, get uh, Google or AI. <laughs> That's something I didn't know I'd be saying in a show. <laughs> so that makes me giggle. Um, laws for insurance companies with their quote and how to word it, especially AI, how to word it to the insurance company. AI will write that whole thing out for you using legal jargon. Go AI, go ho, go AI, go ho. Yeah. Uh, if you, uh, what I'm hearing is that if you use AI and ask them to quote, 
the laws and yada, yada, go for it and see what happens. Okay, love? I hope that's helpful. Um, okay, Michelle, hey. Um, I am going to go down to that. Hey, uh, Ward Vandeplas, how are you today? Happy to have you here. If you have a question, pop it in. I'll get to it. Uh, word Vandeplas does. Uh, I don't understand that question, Ward. I uh, wonder what happens to me standing one year later. Can you please explain that a little bit for me? Even though spirit answers it, I still need to understand it in my head as I go through it. Uh, Michelle wants to know, does Casey have any message for me? my late hum husband. Um, yes, it's a song. <laughs> keep it coming, love. Keep it coming, love. Don't stop it now. Don't stop it. No, love yourself. Don't let it go. Okay, those are not the words, but that's the way it came through. So the whole message is keep loving yourself. Keep loving your life. Or if you're not, jump on that and take it in. The other message is don't give up. Everything's about to blossom or open up. Um, don't discount or get rid of people before you know. So like if somebody, if somebody comes into your life, don't right away start to push them away or make justifications or reasons of why it's not going to why they're not the best person or what shouldn't be in your life, whatever that is. And Michelle, that's what Casey would say for you. Okay, I am going to go to the uh, next one, uh, Anton. Thank you. Uh, Anton says, I think you were spot on. Thank you, Anton. I, I, uh, I appreciate that. Okay. Okay, I am going to go to... Jasmine, if I see your name and you've already asked a question, I'm assuming that you're responding and I'm not going to go through um, the whole message on air. So, for example, um, so, so yes, so I'm going to go to um, I'm going to go to this one next. And this is uh, Jasmine. Jasmine wants to know. Hello, please. Uh, my name is Yasmin. Yasmin, sorry I mispronounced it. Any message about workplace? Yasmin, can you uh, make that a little bit more defined for me? Um, so I don't have to. Um, so I don't. So I can just have that a little bit. Um, Okay, Yasmin, if I were to just say, tell me something about Yasmin for work, the message I get is it's coming soon. Whatever you want is going to be your, it's going to be there soon. Um, don't get frustrated, but keep, um, What they're showing me and the feeling I get from it, and please let me know, Yasmin, if this makes sense, that you get up every day with a with a new attitude, a good attitude, and like hit the ground running. Um, and don't get frustrated over, over what doesn't work. Just stay focused on what does work. And remember... I, I need to say this in Yasmin. I hope it makes sense for you. Um, what I need to say for you is if you have been asking for specific things, remember they are going to bring you what you're asking for 
So anything less than what you're asking for will not work out for you because it's not what you want. So hold true to what you want, what you truly, truly want. Um, will I stay in my actual work or change to another enterprise? Will my will I change soon? My supervisor uh, name is la la la. And my actual project manager name is la la la. Okay. Um, again, Yasmin, what I'm going to say is, do, do you, does she want to change? I feel like you want to change. I feel like you get frustrated about things where you are. I feel like you feel like they're not giving you enough and you want to change. So if you are looking for a change, if you want to change to a different enterprise, it will be there. Um, you just have to hold true to what you want. Are you, if you are here and you're saying, this is what I have and this is what I want, they have this for you, you have to prepare for it. But if you're at a place where you are getting frustrated and you are not feeling worthy, for lack of a better word, or like it's just frustrating, right? Um, then the reason that is, is because you're supposed to be looking for something new, Yasmin. I hope that's helpful for you. Um, I can't tell you, okay, here's the way I'm going to say this for you and everybody else. What I can say to you is I don't tell people Oh, you're you're gonna get something new or you're gonna meet this guy at this time what I say is if you are looking you will get what you're looking for if you are not looking it's not going to come if you're not if you want to be with a partner and you're not leaving your house and you're just sitting watching crime documentaries all night long you're not going to meet somebody new if you are frustrated and you want to know about a position, if you are not applying for other positions, they're not going to come knock on your door and ask you about it. Um, I will also tell you that if you do truly want something new, it will be right there when you're very serious about it. And that's the best way I can say that. There is a position that will be coming that you could fill in June, but you have to be sure you want to change companies and or is this a promotion? No, it's not a promotion. You have to be sure that you are ready to completely change everything. And then there is another position in July, but you might have to relocate for that position. So again, could you get the position in July? That you, in July? Absolutely. Are you willing to relocate? I don't know. You might say, no, it's not worth it to relocate. I like it where I am. I can tell you what's probable and possible. I cannot tell you what you personally are going to do because you could even change your mind at the very last minute. And that's for anybody in any reading at all, private or uh, on, on my show. Everybody has free will. And even if you accept a position or a partner, you can decline it because you do have free will. You don't have to do anything that you don't feel or you change your mind about or that is not in your heart. This whole universe, this whole world is about doing what you love and loving what you do and feeling it and making those moves when it's right for you and you feel it. And um, I hope that's helpful, okay? I really do hope that's helpful for you and you understand. Uh, Lisa, Lisa, let's go to you. Hi, Tony, I'm pregnant. Congratulations and having a, ba having a boy. <laughs> Sorry, I cannot decide on a name for a boy. Can you tell me what the name will be? 
okay, I can I cannot name your baby for you. Um, I do feel like one thing I am hearing, Lisa, I hear grandfather, grandfather, grandfather. So it's possible a grandfather's name, maybe either the first name or the middle name for the child, uh, whichever way that goes. The one thing I will always say to everybody is watch out when you're using names that have never been used before or are very rare because names have meanings for the behaviors of the person. And you want to pick a name that suits a strong, you know, good person, not a name that's, uh, oh, let's use this name because nobody's ever used this name before. Um, so that is what I will tell you. The first thing I am hearing is a grandfather's surname. I don't know what that means, a surname. But whatever that means for you, I hope that works for you. And uh, I'm going to go to the next uh, the next question. Yes, congratulations. Hey, Amy May. Um, hey, let me rise. Elizabeth, what do you see in my financial future? Um, money coming in. Yes, I immediately hear. Yes, I hear some. It's not going to be as much as you would like it to be, but it is some. I do feel like whatever money you get, make it work for you is what I'm hearing. So if you get some money in, use it to either start or do something that will bring you more money. Now, be careful if you're thinking, I'm going to take this money and I am going to use it for uh, to invest in this this multi-level or pyramid type of thing? No, that is not your answer. Um, however, if you like, you already know what you can do to have a comeback, like to put it into something and bring it back. Um, and that's very good. Now, if you don't, we can talk about that in a private thing. But use it, whatever this money is that's coming in, use it like as an investment. That's the word I'm getting. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Brandy. Any messages for me, please? And thank you, Brandy. Usually I tell people to ask a more specific question, but you're already up on the screen. I'm going to just tap in and ask. And sometimes people don't like the message that they get with this. So please don't be upset or offended. No matter what comes out of my mouth, please remember it's coming for, from spirit. What does Brandy, what does Brandy, what do you want to tell Brandy now? Uh, Brandy, uh, the one thing I'm hearing is uh, don't, don't, I don't know if you have been emotional lately, but I heard two songs, Don't Let the Sun Catch You Crying and Don't Cry For Me. And <laughs> big boys don't cry. Okay, so Brandy, whatever's going on for you in this time, it's at the end then there. <laughs> oh, Brandy, I need to scroll down. Tell me, girl, tell me, does this make sense for you? I need that response. Um, and then I'm hearing the song from Annie. The sun will come out tomorrow. Please tell me, are have you been having, even if you haven't been crying, have you been having a difficult time emotionally lately? Most of us have. I 1 million percent get it. Um, Brandy, what I'm going to tell you is the, the, you're about to go around a corner and things are about to... It's like you are going from one reality to a different reality that is flipped. Like it's like you've if if I'm getting your energy, sweetie, it's like your world's been upside down, but it's about to flip back upside right. And when it flips back upside right, you are going to be so happy. You are just going to be like, Hallelujah. And it's going to be a really, really good um, situation for you. So please know 
um, you're about to go around a corner and it is about to be amazing for you. Brandy, I hope you did get that message and I hope it makes sense to you, sweetie. Okay. Uh, you are welcome, 2715. Uh, I'm going to put this up. I don't. Rachel asks, what's going on with my job? What should I do with it? Thank you so much. Um, what should Rachel do with her job? I instantly here find another one. I mean, don't quit until you have something new. I will say that all day long, every day. But it's time to start looking. I feel like whatever's going on there doesn't have even if you're involved, it doesn't have as much to do with you as it does with politics or something else. But it doesn't, like they're saying, that doesn't even matter. Just like it might be time to start looking for something that where you can go in and be in a better place. And then I'm hearing this. Um, I don't know if this is the company you work for, or I hope this message is still pertaining to you. I hear foreclosure bankrupt. So your company, or unless this is for somebody else that I'm getting, because sometimes that happens, there's something with your company, they may have to do a buy, a sellout or a buy off. And if they, do there will be a lot of changes i feel like your company wherever you're working behind the scenes there's just a lot going on so please start looking for something else see if you can find something where you feel like there's not where you don't have to ask this question um and and see where that goes okay i hope that's helpful for you okay yasmin I think I already answered a question for Yasmin. So I'm going to go to the next person. Yasmin, if I have time, I'll come back. And so there are people who have asked two and three questions on here. I'm trying to get to at least answer one question from everybody asking questions. If I have time, I will go back and answer them. Ah. <sighs> uh... Okay, so here's one uh, that is a scammer. So please don't listen to this scammer. Uh, we are going to do this. And we are going to do that. And there's that. So please, you guys, be very careful. See, this just tells me right here, I'm not going to continue to be able to go live on Facebook if these scammers come in and these little trolls come in and are doing that sort of thing on there. Um, very inappropriate and very troll and very icky, just very icky. Okay, uh, hey Jennifer, how are you today? Okay, we're gonna answer this one because this is actually a really good question. What what should I do to balance my female and masculine, my feminine and masculine energy? So I'm gonna do a clearing right now. Our feminine and masculine energy is balanced. I get a no, we're gonna start to do that. One of the things, just be you, like, this is the, and I'm going to channel this and I'm going to say it in the best way I can. The authentic you knows exactly how to be in balance. It's when we start doing things or not doing things for or to please or to not upset other people or to cover for other people that we get out of balance. And I'm just gonna give a couple of examples. If we are in a relationship where our partner um, needs us to put in, put in, uh, if we're feminine and we're all of a sudden 
having to worry about the relationship, that's going to put us in our masculine and put so much stress on us. And don't ever be in that situation. Just jump out, let things repair. And if they can repair, you can get back in. But nine times out of 10, they can't. Um, if you're in a work situation, and I know work situations, we can't always just walk away from them. But if you are in a work situation where you are as stressed or walking on eggshells, that will take you out of your balance or your feminine masculine. And you will then have to, when you get home, just go back into recalibration and start from the your toes all the way up and do the um, a white light and gold light all the way up and out at, to help you. The other thing you can come back to this show about the uh, 48 minute mark and listen to the clearing again and again every day so that you can be balanced in your energy. I will say we naturally know how to be in our balanced energy and a lot of feminine people are worried about masculine and we shouldn't have to worry about being balanced in the masculine. We should be able to be feminine at all times. So let's just say you're a woman and you're a little bit in your masculine, start to dress in a feminine way. If that's comfortable for you, don't come at me. Um, or do spa type things for yourself, do self care. If you're a masculine that's getting a little too in the feminine, get to the gym, box, lift weights, all of that produces more testosterone within you if you don't have a physically active position. Um, and get off of processed foods because processed foods, I have to be very, very careful what I say here. I'll get kicked off of another social media thing. Um, do the research on the ingredients or look up the companies themselves and find out because some companies literally create foods like there's a certain, um, I have to rhyme it, torn clakes <laughs> by Kellogg's was designed to deplete testosterone. Why? Why? So really research that. Make sure you're eating the right foods, healthy foods, natural foods. And um, and that is those are some of the ways you can get back into your um, divine feminine or uh, strong masculine, whichever way you want to be. Um, okay, Dennis, I, I'm curious if you have a message for me. Dennis, um, yes, there's, okay, Dennis, instantly I see an older man and woman. The man is wearing glasses. He's with a woman who's a little bit more slender. Um, uh, Dennis, I'm going to scroll down so you can reply. Please let me know if these two people, I know I did not give the greatest uh, description of them. Now, these two people could be parents, grandparents, aunt and uncle. I'm not getting names. Please don't have huge expectations when I have hundreds of energies around me. And their message for you, their message from the other side is... Um, um, <laughs> They're singing a song, working in a coal mine. And I really don't know the song, so that's all I can sing for you. I hope that that makes um, perfect sense for you and that you understand that song and it makes sense. But the, the actual, that's the song. And then the actual message is you're doing much better than you think. Uh, don't. I hear that song, don't give up on us, baby, we can still come through. And I can't, I don't have that tone. And then the next message I'm getting is um, take time to do things 
correctly or take take the time to do things the way you want to do them or take the time to do things Okay, so if they're talking about a relationship, take time and do the things you need to do there. But if they're talking about work, take time to do it so you don't have to redo it. Whatever they're talking about, it's take time to do it the right way. Don't give up and keep like give it a like give it a whirl. I I really hope that makes sense to you. Um I don't know where I was, but I, I I think I was past that. Dennis, there you are. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, Jennifer, I have to do it this way so I know where I was. And time is running out, so I'm gonna I'm gonna answer these next questions as quickly as possible so I can get to as many people as possible. Do you see me relocating back to New Jersey? No, not anytime soon. If you do, it'll be a year to a year and a half but I really don't see that happening now. Of course you have free will and you can do this. You can try to make it happen. It's not in your best interest. It will not turn out the way you would like it to. I hope that's helpful for you. Um, I'm going to go to the next person. Please remember I'm trying to go to get one answer for everybody. Uh, so I'm going to this one. Hello, I'm about to take a test on April 11th. I'm trying to study for a couple of hours a day. My job has kept me doing a lot of overtime. This test will allow me to move up in my career. And then the next the next thing is, will I pass it? Same person, will I pass it? Uh, is he going to pass this test? Yes. Is he going to pass it on April? Yes. Uh, you're being very diligent and your studies are proving to be good. You do have really good retention. I'm going to do a clearing for you and anybody listening. Anything stopping or blocking you from passing the test has been healed, cleared, released. I get a yes. Let's strengthen that. I feel like you're going to do good, very well on the test. He gets nervous. Let's clear any nervousness let's just clear any nervousness oh holy guacamole um yeah that's a lot oh okay i think i've answered um almost all the questions oh wait erin uh here we go. There's one more person asking a question. This is perfect timing because we're getting to the end. Should I sell products online and build a brand? What business venture do you see being successful for me? Okay, I know that's two questions. I, I really don't have time to answer both of them. So I am going to answer one of them. Should I sell products online and build a brand? Yes. I am going to say go with a proven, what I'm hearing, what I'm hearing, go with a proven method, go go with something that's already working. And if I had to give an example, I would say go to somebody who's really successful on one of the social media things and see what they're doing and how they're doing it and um, emulate it, not word for word, put your own sauce on it. Girl, put your own sauce on it, or guy, sorry, uh, Aaron, put your own sauce on it. If you're going to do it, uh, do it with your own, you know, spice, whatever you want to call it. You can look at what they're doing and see how it works and then follow your own intuitive thing and jump on it. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for being here.